Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is out now in theaters as I record this and I actually just saw the movie yesterday. What is going on Dry2 Crew? Ramni here with a brand new video tutorial for you guys and today we are going to be drawing Kang, Kang the Conqueror from Ant-Man and the Wasp quantum mania. As I was doing research for this tutorial, I realized that we didn't really get a lot of merchandising for this movie in terms of like action figures, toys, that kind of thing. And I was looking for an actual detailed, you know, look at Kang the Conqueror's costume and I couldn't find uh, much online. Very, very surprising for a big tentpole movie like this one, especially the first one uh, that kicks off phase five of the MCU. Very, very bizarre. So what I ended up doing was I actually had to go find the render for the action figure in order to find a more detailed look at Jonathan Majors as Kang the Conqueror in this film. And so that's what I'm basing this tutorial off of, you guys. Um, as always, there's going to be a breakdown that comes first and then the tutorial after. So make sure you hold off until the actual tutorial to get started. All right, so let's break this down, you guys. As I mentioned, this is based off of a, uh, an action figure render. So you guys could probably see like the joints are kind of weird and stuff. So we're just going to ignore all of that and just pay close attention to the uh, details in the costume. The thing is there's so much details in the costume that I'm probably not going to be drawing all of it, just like the basics, okay? And it's up to you if you wanna add all those details later on. Let's take a look at the face. As usual, I like to draw like the, the basic shape of the face, which is a circle, and then breaking down the look, or sorry, the the actual like shapes of the face like so. And what we're going to do with this one is, you guys notice that the, the face and the body actually is going to be uh, encased inside the costume. The costume is gonna be pretty thick. So what we're going to do is we're gonna look at the structure of the body inside and then we're going to build it. We're going to add layers to it. So that's what we're going to do. Let me just finish with the line there. And this is going to be a symmetrical drawing. So I'm just going to draw a line going straight down like so. So you guys can see that one side is going to be mirror image of the other side. Okay. So here's the shoulders. So I'm going to put the ball of the shoulders kind of like right here and here. And then from here, I'm just going to imagine that there's going to be this clavicle, the chest line right here, the top of the chest, okay? And then here we have the um, shoulders. Again, we're going to be adding up those layers as we go. And then right here along the shoulders, we're going to draw the chest. And so the chest is going to look like this, essentially, okay? So the shoulders kind of go into the chest. And then I'm just going to continue making that V shape and then it's pretty much if you look here it kind of looks like a square doesn't it like from here the torso part is a square there's a big thick belt that goes along here and then it just continues downwards but the costume itself is going to go out from here goes outward this way covers the shoulders completely okay and then over here we've got our bicep and then over here we've got our tricep i'm sorry our, our forearm and then same thing on the other side okay rendering like i said we can make that cape a little bit more dynamic if we want to because honestly this is a pretty like vanilla posed is basically what we'll call it like it's nothing special and all of that so let's take a look let's remove the layer below and there is our basic shape for Kang the Conqueror so let's now go ahead and get started with the actual tutorial all right you guys so let's go ahead and get started with our tutorial as you guys can see I've got my paper in landscape mode that's how we're going to be drawing Kang here and I'm going to be drawing first a line going down the middle and that's going to be our symmetry line and yeah that's totally crooked so don't ex I don't expect you guys to make a really straight line because mine's not straight okay as you guys are drawing these uh, 
uh, guidelines. Make sure to not draw them too, um, how do you say, don't draw them too dark because you're going to be erasing them eventually and if you do, you know, you want to make sure that you're, you're able to erase them. I like to use a rubber eraser. Um, you can get lighter ones. This one works for me. So anyway, let's go ahead and start drawing the circle at the top for the head. And so here we are. It's going to be about that big here. And then the lines going down for the sides of Kang's face. Just like that. And then the chin going this way. Okay. Again, like I mentioned in the breakdown, this is uh, this we're going to draw like the person inside the suit and the suit itself is going to kind of like layer on top. So it's going to make it Kang look a lot bigger and a lot thicker than he usually or than he actually is. Like in the movies, Jonathan Majors is a buff guy. Uh, he's a skinny guy, but uh, with a suit on, he looks huge. Pretty much same goes for every single superhero, to be honest. Anyway, so we've got a neck here, not that big of a neck. About this far down, I'm going to draw a line going across. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to start drawing a kind of like a, a square. So lines over here. And we're going to draw the chest. So here's the chest right here. It makes two squares. But what we're going to do is we're going to draw another set of squares right here. And that's going to be the torso. And what's going to happen with the lower part of the torso, it's going to go inwards like this, because we want that V shape, that superhero uh, V shape. Okay. Right here is where we're going to have shoulders. The shoulders are going to be ovals. And part of the shoulder is going to go into the chest here, just to, just as a guide. Okay. So they kind of look like eggs here and here. And then from the neck now, you can sort of bring it uh, down and towards the shoulder. So now we've got our basic torso, we've got our body here. Like I mentioned earlier, we're going to have a big puffy belt. It's going to look like that. So it's just going to be a basic rectangle there. We're going to cut off our drawing kind of like right here. So I'm just going to leave that. So imagine torso going in and going out like so, like Kang's costume. Okay. And then over here on this side, we're going to draw the bicep. Bicep's going to go pretty much like just above the belt line here. So here and here. And then forearm going down. It's wide and then narrow. And we're going to cut it off right here, like I mentioned. So just like that. Same thing on the other side. Basic shape there. And then here, like so. Okay. Again, we're going to puff it up. We're going to add some stuff to it. Like we're going to add some costume details to make it look thicker. Okay. And then what we're going to do now, you see where the base of the shoulder is. I'm going to find a spot right here and here. And we're going to kind of just draw the basic Kang costume, the distinctive, whatever you call this part, like that. And then that's going to be the, um, the shoulder part for Kang's costume. And then after that, we're going to start here. We're going to draw some dynamic capes like that. And again, here going this way. And there we go. Give him a little bit more dynamism because he's pretty much just standing still there and we want to add a little bit more life to him. Okay, so there's our basic Kang look. Now, if you guys are, um, if you guys find that I'm going a little bit too fast, uh, feel free to pause the video. If you guys find, you know, uh, pause the video or slow it down, uh, zoom in if you guys are finding it a little too small. Okay, um, right here, Kind of like at the base here, we're going to draw his eye line. And then, yeah, so from there, if you think of a rectangle here, going this way towards the, the chin parts, the, the jaw, uh, and then draw a line right here, that's where the nose is going to be. Okay, so let's, 
let's look at that and then I'm going to draw a couple of sorry I'm going to erase a couple of lines here we really don't even need this one so let's just erase those and then what we're going to do is we're going to find from here to here we're going to find a a curve like a half circle Okay, we're going to start building him up now. And then we're going to do the same thing kind of like in over here like this. Okay, and it goes beyond the shoulders. It kind of goes quite high up actually like that. If I erase these, you'll see exactly what I mean. Now he's got like these that crazy I don't know what part of the costume what do you call this part of the costume collar I guess you could call it a collar okay find a spot here and here and what we're going to do is we're gonna go up into a diagonal and then outward in a curve this way and this way and then just a little bit more than his shoulders like that Okay, and then right here, I'm actually simplifying Kang's costume here, so it's not super detailed. There's a lot of details that you can add to the Kang costume later on if you guys want to. I'm just going to draw the basics of it, and then you guys are free to add whatever, however much details you want. How, like if you want shadows and stuff like that, you can add all of that in as well. Okay. There's this shape right here and it kind of goes outward like that again. And then another one above it going across in a curve like that. I'm not closing it up here yet. I'm not worried about that yet. Okay, and then over here he's got like a neck padding and the padding is actually going to give him like a big thick neck. So think of it as like, you know what, you the neck brace that you wear if you like break break your neck or something yeah so that's what that is right here okay and then here is where we start to give him that uh, thick neck padding like that and then one more I'm going to draw another line going across here from this side to the other side kind of just following that same line going across like so and then here, I'm just going to add a little bit of depth. So it's not going to have a point here. It's going to come down like that. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's start here now. What we're going to do is we're going to find two points here on opposite sides. Again, this is going to be symmetrical. And what we're going to do is we're going to make like a a shape that widens as you go up like that okay and then find two more spots here and this one widens as well but it's sort of yeah it, it it widens but not much it just follows along in inside like that but this one continues actually and it goes this way. So find a spot here and here. And this one makes a, becomes wider as you go up this way. Okay. And then this one, same thing, sort of just goes like that. There you go. We'll add more details to that a little bit later on. We're just going to roughly outline or start drawing like everything else and then we'll add the details in a bit. Okay. So from here now, parallel to this line right here, that goes like that. And then same thing here goes up like so. Okay. So this is where it starts to get a little bit tricky. Start at this point. 
what you want to do is follow this line that we did initially. Cleaning that up a little bit. And then start here now. Actually, this point right here, so you see how we did this line initially earlier? Find a spot right here. And then we're going to just create this line just underneath this initial line here. Like so. I'm not going to close it up yet. But yeah, we're going to do the same thing on the other side, making sure that things are symmetrical. So follow this line. And then we got this line here. And then from there, another line comes out this way. Uh, by the way, I might do a vlog in my second channel. If you guys didn't realize, I do have a link to my second channel in my um, somewhere on 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 this channel. Um, I'll be breaking down kind of like my um, my thoughts on Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantumania, like the movie. So if you guys are interested in me talking about it and nerding out about MCU movies, yeah, feel free to check it out. Uh, you don't have to, but yeah, if you're interested and you want to join in the conversation there, feel free to do that. Okay. This line kind of runs parallel to this. But here at the top, it sort of goes in like so. And then now you can finally close that. And then this one sort of goes like this, and then the third one goes like this. So you guys can see it's got like three layers. Okay, parallel line going from here, going upwards. But from here, it goes like so. very complicated but not really but kind of is all right so I'm not going to draw like the tiny little details here but yeah take a look at the referenced photo I'll put a link to that in the description of this video again it's like the action figure is where we're basing it off of uh, but yeah uh, there's a lot of details on the, on the costume here that's just very intricate very very cool this is one of the Kind of like Mysterio, it's one of my favorite MCU villain costumes because of how accurate it almost looks to the uh, to the movie. Move, uh, sorry, to the comic Kang. Okay, so here's all that. Let's actually start working on the head here. I do have some sticky stuff at the back of my board here. This is an actually a board that I used to draw. Yeah, that sticky stuff there keeps it from like moving around as I draw. Okay, so I'm going to start drawing the eyes, and for the eyes, I'm going to draw them blank, just staring straight. And sometimes I like to draw the eyes at an angle or sideways, just so that I see them as shapes and not as eyes. Because when you see them as shapes, you'll be able to identify whether or not you drew them symmetrically. And that's the hardest part with eyes, in my experience anyway. Is just trying to make sure that you drew them uh, in the same, like the same size, same, like same placement on the face, kind of thing. That's always the hardest part. Okay, and there are the eyes for Kang's nose. I'm going to let me just erase a few of the guidelines here, just very faintly, because I'll still need them. Okay, it doesn't look like anything yet. It looks like a ghost, really. A V shape for the nose. And then here I'm going to draw some nostrils. And the nostrils are basically just like darkened parts. It's not circles or anything. It's just darkened. It's a lot more, how do you call it? Like right here. There you go. You just want to want it to look like that. Okay. Now again, if it doesn't look like the actor Jonathan Majors, who is an amazing actor, 
Uh, if it doesn't look like him, don't worry about it. I'm not even worried about trying to make it look like him at all. If it happens to look like him, then cool. But that takes a while. And for me to try to do that in one shot on a tutorial video is too much of pressure, too much pressure. So I'm not even going to try. Okay. So there's that. Then I'm going to draw the mouth now. What I'm going to do for the mouth is I'm just going to draw the top part like so. But I'm not going to draw the bottom lip. Otherwise, it'll look like a uh, look more feminine. So I'm just going to draw a line going down like so. Okay, so it just kind of gives the impression of a lip, but I'm not going to draw like the actual uh, complete the lip shape. Okay. I'm going to draw two lines going across here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of create the artificial um, eyebrows, I guess. I don't, I don't know. There's um, lines that go down his, like his eyes. Let me actually just draw the eyes like this. And then he's got two lines this way. And then he's got the, like Kang has like two lines that go down his face. For him, it's scars, but when he's got his helmet on, sort of creates this shape here. So it sort of starts under the eyes and goes into the eyes, kind of. So it's actually two lines, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it a little bit darker here so you guys can see it better. But yeah, try to make that symmetrical. I didn't quite succeed there. So here, I'm going to turn it upside down because the, if I do that, then I can kind of see it a little bit better. How to make it a little bit more symmetrical. So there. We're going to need to reshape the face a little bit. His chin's looking a little too small. So if you feel the need to, then you guys go ahead. But I'm Maybe you guys don't even need to do what I'm doing right now. Okay, it goes under his chin. And it kind of goes downwards. And it goes down towards the bottom of his face. Okay, cool. Does it look like him yet? Not quite. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to draw the kind of eyebrows. I'm just going to draw them going across like that and then curve on the side. And then from the center here, or kind of like there, two lines going upwards. There you go. He does have wrinkles. I'm probably not going to draw the wrinkles. Let me just erase that again. But again, here we have uh, Kang. Doesn't have the right head shape yet. So let's let's get there. We're getting there. Okay, so we have these two points right here. What we're going to do is we're going to draw a line going across right here. So about that much, um, that much forehead space. And then we want it to look like that. Okay, so we're going to kind of draw where the helmet wraps around his face. Okay, from here goes this way, and then like that to the side of his eyes there. And then we're going to just bring it down to these corners here, the jawline corners. And there you go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to expand the head. It's going to look rounder now. Okay. In the comics, he's got a pretty square looking face. And the movie does a pretty good job of, you know, translating the comic look. Okay. So right here, imagine this line continuing upwards. And think of it as like an old school, like a football helmet. 
Yeah, there you go. And kind of looks like that. And then two lines going down this way. These lines tend, they, they kind of look straight though, not rounded. So you don't want to make that round look. They look a little bit straight and then we're going to break it off or we're going to break off this line with his ears and his ears have some sort of lights that kind of make it glow. Okay, and so where the ears would be is like here. What we're going to do is actually, let me just make it a little bit bigger here and here. I'm going to erase the lines in the middle because what it does is sort of wraps around the face. So I'm going to draw a rectangle like right here, right in the middle of the line. But then it sort of wraps around. Like that. And then you just work your way to try to make it look symmetrical. Over here you want to make sure you add like the edge. go and there's some details here on the sides I can't quite make out it's a little bit hard a little bit blurry but I guess we'll just leave it then <laughs> there you go so here we have Kang's head for the neck and I think for Kang well we can just leave it like this he does have some shadowing happening here if you want to add some shadows. There's a lot of shadows under the eyes and right here. And if you guys want to draw the sides of the face like this as well, you can. Yep, there you go. There you go, just adding a little bit more details to that. Over here we do have some details so I'm going to close it off like this. Bring that upwards, make it stick up a little bit higher and then do it again inside. There's like a triangle that comes down like so and I think I'll leave it at that. Same thing over here actually. There you go. Okay. All right, so let's go back to the neck here. Kind of omitted that earlier. A line going out from here, kind of just out to the side, like so, like a curve. There you go. Shadows here, because that's the neck. Okay. I'm going to drew, redraw, sorry. I draw another line going this way. And then got some squares happening here and here. Another one closer to the shoulders. Okay. I'm going to cut this into squares. First one is a triangle actually. That's a triangle, then a bunch of squares. 
like so. And then at the bottom left corner of those squares, I'm just going to draw another tiny square like that. Going to erase this middle line. Okay, let's focus on this this shape right here. What we're going to do is we're going to draw like a trapezoid shape inside. And then kind of like a letter T and it sort of goes like that. Another line right here. These are just extra details now. Now in the comics, Kang is actually related to Fantastic Four. So I was kind of hoping that Fantastic Four would appear in this movie somewhere. Yeah. So let me know. Uh, let me let me know if you guys have seen this movie. I'm not going to mention anything else. Let me know if you guys liked it or not. Okay, right here, I'm just going to draw another line going inside it, here and here. So following that same curve right here is going to be, it's going to look like that. And then just a bunch of geometric shapes here, um, like that. And then from here goes up and curves like that and then like so and then let's try to do the exact same thing on the other side now so let's establish those edges draw two more lines inside it okay here it's diagonal this way okay we'll make a triangle like this then diagonal and then across and then a circle or sorry a rectangle up here okay here's an edge so just cleaning this edge up go that's pretty much done okay I'm going to cut this into one two looking at the reference photo over here and then let's just make it three four there you go so four lines and then each one has like a, a dark rectangle going down so dark rectangle dark rectangle here let's do one more dark rectangle going down this way and then one more here. This one right here kind of goes upwards and this way. And there's really like, I don't think this is a spoiler, but there there's no kind of um, explanation to why Kang looks the way he does um, in the movie anyway. But in the comics, because it's because he's like from the future, and so he's got access to all this technology that we don't quite yet know about. So, yeah. okay, and then just a few. This is more like right here is. It's, it's more fabric than this. This is kind of like metal or, or, or I don't know what you would call it, but it's more metallic. These are purples, but this right here, it's like, if you guys want to draw the stripes or whatever, this is more fabric looking and it's the green part of his costume. Okay. Draw a line going this way. And yeah, we've got more, like if we really want to, you can add more stripes going that way to add more details to your costume. OK, 
Okay, but there are purple bits. There's a purple bit right here. It goes in like that. See that? And then goes into the costume. So this part is purple. And then the rest is green. And then we do the same thing here. There. Okay. And then right here, add a few more layers. And then this would be stripes if we were to add more stripes, like so. So lots of layers in Kang's costume here. Okay, now let's move on to the belt. There's a rectangle as the main part of the belt here. And it's got some intricate designs, but what basically we're going to do is we're going to draw another line going across here and here. So there's like two lines at the top and then two lines here at the bottom. And then let's just make them into trapezoids. Okay, two here, two lines, two lines and then just trapezoids going like so. And then here, have them stick out like that. Okay, there you go. Add some nice corners to those. There we go. So that's it. Okay, for the bottom, this is like a sash, and he's got like a here and here two lines. Now, this is going to be like green flowing outward this way and green flowing outward this way and this right here is kind of like uh like sub-zero and scorpion in, in mortal kombat it's it's um what do you call it it's it covers the the crotch area okay and then we got one two three four those are the purple bits of the sash there you go and then the rest is just green there you go all right, so now let's move on to the arms. And the arms are, let me bring it up a little bit higher. Uh, he does have gauntlets here, but we won't see much of it. But uh, let's see, across the bicep. So let me just shape the bicep a little bit. And we're going to add some wrinkly lines right here because it is fabric. As futuristic as it looks, it still is a type of fabric so so I'm just gonna draw some folding uh, folding fabric lines like so there's kind of like a square with cut corners that sort of goes on one side of the um, of the bicep but then it sort of goes like that it's like padding for the bicep part and then that's purple and then kind of going around it as well. So it goes around to the other side. It sort of looks like that. And then we do uh, the same thing again on the other side. Okay, fabric folding here. I'm going to draw a couple of lines very roughly. And then here you guys can see I'm kind of making squigglies to show that the fabric is kind of bunching up there. Line going across here. 
and then start drawing that. That square inside there. Like that. Okay. And then, lastly, we've got his gauntlets. And the gauntlets, we don't really see um, like details, details wise, it's kind of a little obscure, but it's going to go outward like this and then goes in like so, and then just goes straight down and then like that. Okay. Out, in, down, outwards, goes in and goes down. Okay, so like that, and then like so, uh -oh. my eraser is making gray marks, which means I got to clean it up. It sort of makes a line going across, but then it goes down and then does it again, line across and then goes down. Okay, line across and then goes down here on the sides and the same thing here, line going across and then goes down where we don't see. Okay. And then the last thing that we're going to do is just add some flare to the cape. So let's just add some uh, kind of lines coming from the back there going outward. And there you go, you guys. Let's bring it down. Clean it up a bit. And that, you guys, is my version of Kang the Conqueror from Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do Ant-Man, if you guys want me to do um, uh, Cassie Lang, who's in this movie as another superhero, uh, who's not really named, whether she's Stature or Stinger. Uh, nothing was really mentioned of what kind of, uh, what superhero name she has. But yeah, there's this, but there's also like the uh, the version of Kang from the Loki show. If you guys are interested in that one as well, let me know. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And yeah, I hope you guys are successful in your drawings. And you guys, that is all the time that we have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way to the very end. I appreciate that a lot. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So head on over to Instagram, tag me at draw to so I can see your masterpieces. If you guys are ever curious about the tools that I use for drawing or the equipment that I use to make these videos, I have links in the description of this video. So make sure you guys check that out. If you are feeling extra generous, I have links down in the description as well for different ways that you can show your support on this channel. I already mentioned Patreon, but there are other ways as well. So be sure to check those out links in the description. Your contributions go a long way in ensuring that I can continue making videos just like this for you guys to enjoy free of charge. Again, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video right here, comment down below and share this with your friends in your social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and of course on my website, draw2.com, where you can find a free coloring page based on the tutorial drawing that is found in this video. Again, you guys, all of the links to those are found in the description of this video. So be sure to check that out. Finally, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw it too. I'll see you guys next time.